Hi, this is Grisha Day of bizgrowthnews.com with a few tips in terms of building your visibility and at the same time attracting your leads through using social networking and social media. Over here on my blog, I've been getting ready for a presentation that I'm giving. In fact, I'm giving two sessions at a conference where there's over 350 people attending from across the world and I'm going to be speaking about using social media and social networking. What I've done is I've prepared a blog post which will go live at the same time that I'm going to be speaking um, and the handouts therefore will be available not just to people who've been attending the conference but to other people who decide that they're interested in the same content. You can see the presentation here and you can flick through it and I'm, what I've done is I've hosted it on a site called Slideshare. You'll find it online at slideshare.net and as usual I like to use free tools where I can and that's what I'm using in this particular case. But you might say well how Krishna could you be attracting leads from that content if it's being held somewhere else? So you're right it actually is being hosted on another site but let me show you what I'm also doing. I'm taking advantage of the fact there are thousands and thousands of people who will go over to Slideshare and look for information about similar areas that I'm writing about. So take for example, this is a presentation that I put up about two months ago, again after a, con a conference that I was speaking at, and I've already had three and a half thousand views. And other people have taken that presentation and embedded it into their websites or blogs. So my content has been distributed across the web. Here's the presentation that I've just implemented, and let's go and have a look at what I've done there. Firstly, at the side, I've added information here so people can find me. And let's say, for example, they go and find me at Facebook on my Marketing Mentor page. They'll be able to see there's a sign-up box there on my, uh, where, on my page for, uh, for, for Marketing Mentor where they can leave their details and join my newsletter. Alternatively, if they were on Biz Growth News, you might have noticed on the right-hand side there was sign-up for the newsletter there as well. Right on the last page of the presentation though, and again, this means that if my content is elsewhere on the web, not here at Slideshare, so this isn't visible, not on my blog, it's on somebody else's site, the last thing I've done on that page is I've also provided information about how people can get in contact with me. However, just a little bit further on, you can also see there's a document here saying collect leads using your documents. So let's click that and it takes us to a paid for part of the SlideShare service and it's called LeadShare. So you can create a campaign and you'll see here the cost per lead now is going to be one dollar per lead. You can create a campaign name, you can decide on the geography, that will add additional cost to it and you can put other parameters in as well. You can have some advanced options, other places to collect leads, if you want phone numbers, if you want mailing addresses. Again, just note that there's an additional cost to, here, to this. But I just think this is an area that you might want to explore. It's a bit like using pay-per-click, but very targeted in terms of uh, versus a, a Google ad. Um, or a Facebook ad. I mean, both of those can be targeted to some extent, but this it could be targeted to collect specific leads. So rather than just paying for the click to come through, you're going to pay to collect specific information. Now, SlideShare is very highly ranked, and it's actually got an Alexa ranking of 432. There's many people who go there to search for presentations. And of course, you can then promote those presentations through your Facebook page and Twitter but perhaps it's something that you might want to explore. Remember, you can visit me on SlideShare, you'll find me over at bizgrowthnews.com as well, and all my connection details are here listed on the side of my blog. And I, you might actually want to check out the tips that I was sharing at the conference, and you'll be able to get them, as I said, on SlideShare or bizgrowthnews.com.